Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th Easy Excel tutorial, part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to show you something very simple, yet a little bit complex. It's very easy to do, and it comes in handy more than you think, and it can save you a ton of time. Today's topic is combining cells. In the past I showed you Merge and Center, this button right here, which merges multiple cells and puts them into one. Uh, the thing with, multi with Merge and Center is that if you have data in more than one cell, like I have here, John and Smith, it will overwrite the second cell. It'll only keep whatever's whatever is in the top left cell. So if I click on merging center, it will it says merging center. Merging cells will only keep the upper left cell value and discards the other values. If I press OK, it gets rid of Smith and I have John. Sure it merged the cells, but that's not what I want. So I'll just undo Control Z. And I'm going to show you how to combine the cells today and keep both of them. It's a little, small little formula. So why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you have a list of names like I have here, first and last name, and they're separated, and you want to put them into a single cell. Sure, you can copy and paste John and Smith and Natasha and Romanoff, Eli Coleman, over and over again into the adjacent column, or you can just use the formula that I'm going to show you today and save a whole lot of time. If you're familiar with programming, you'll know that this the terminology in this case is called concatenation. Uh, most programming languages have it and so does Excel. So let's get started. In front of you we have a list of names. Uh, let's say you want to put them together for whatever reason. We know whether it's the job that asks for it or whatever else you have. And if you're familiar with programming you'll understand this pretty quickly. Even if you're not it's a very simple concept. So since this is a formula we're going to start at C, C1 and we're going to start with the equal sign just like any normal formula. And we want to combine John and Smith. John is in cell A1, so we'll select A1, and Smith is in A2, B2, B1, excuse me. Wow. So if I select B1 while I'm here, while A1 is here, it'll just override A1. That's not what we want. We want to pretty much add A1 and B1 together. In this case, uh, in Excel, the concatenation symbol is the ampersand symbol. So A1 and, you could look at it that way, B1. See, now we, I can select both A1 and B1. It pretty much acts, you can look at it like a plus sign, but instead of, it, 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 it com connects two strings together. That's pretty much what concatenation is. So if I press enter, what this will do is it will put John Smith together. There you go. The cells are combined, right? In programming languages like PHP, the concatenation symbol is a dot. In C++, as you've seen, if you may have seen in my other videos, it's a it, it's a less than less than value. You know, it's a, the arrow. And uh, Excel uses ampersand. And the reason it puts John Smith together without any spaces is because neither of these strings here have any spaces in them. So we'll have to add our own. So we'll edit the formula right here. And after the ampersand symbol, we'll put an open quote, space, and another open quote, and one more ampersand symbol. So in this formula, we're concatenation concatenating twice. So A1 and we're adding a space of our own and a B1. The reason we're doing quotes is because we're telling Excel that we're adding another character or string and not another formula. So if I press enter, it automatically it enters that space there. If I do it without the space, it'll give me an error and it will say it, it will fix it and get rid of one of the ampersand symbols. So it says we found a typo in your formula and tried to correct it to A1 and B1. Do you want to accept this correction? I'll press no. So I'll just put the quotes back in there. There we go. And press enter. And there you go, John Smith. Easy, right? This is the formula you need to know, the concatenation formula. It's just the amp one symbol, ampersand. And just like before, we only have to do the formula once. And with our friend the autofill right here, I'm going to drag it all the way down here. And look, everything lines up as it should. I just have to do it once. See, A2, B2, A3, B3, all the way to United States, A14, and B14. It's pretty easy to do, but also pretty complex. It's not that complex, but if you're showing this to someone who doesn't know Excel, you'll very likely... Uh, to impress them a little bit. 
Uh, with concatenation, uh, you can combine as many cells as you want in any way that you want. But remember that it's just for combining face data. So if you have formulas or anything that you want to combine the cells with, it will not copy the formulas, it will copy the results. So if you have 2 plus 2 in one cell and 2 plus 3 in another cell and you combine those two cells, it will give you a 4 and a 5. So it will look like the answer is 45. It won't actually add 4 plus 5 or anything. It just takes, it just converts it to string and pastes it as text. And like I said before, you can come out as many cells as you want. So I have a few more examples here in New York City and Greenwich Mean Time. So I'm going to, as a test, just combine these three. So ampersand, and, and. We're adding, whoops, I forgot one more. There we go. And this. So we have we're concatenating quite a few times because we're adding two spaces. There you go, New York City. So this is the formula, A7 plus B7, A17, B17, and C17 with two concatenations in between. Right? So let's just autofill. There you go, we have Greenwich Mean Time. Easy as that. All you have to do is remember the ampersand symbol in Excel. In Excel, and that's it's the way to concatenate. If you have ever done any programming, it should be easy for you. Um, well, that's there is, that's there is, that's there all. Uh, today we covered combining data. Next time I'll show you how to split the columns. Like let's say we have John Smith to the United States, we'll split them into two different columns because sometimes you need to separate first name and last name, or whatever data you're working with. I already have that started here. Um, you know, splitting data is another very easy but also a complex task. It's easy. It's always good to know these things because it can save you a whole lot of time. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you want to see certain types of tutorials, let me know. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. You can like this video, share it, and remember to visit easyprogramming.net. Thanks for watching.